What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a phenomenal Monday. Super excited to get you guys another video out for the third week in the row. Uh, just feels really good to stay on top of this. But today I'm going to show you guys everything about my 2011 Honda Civic Si. the SI to be my new daily because as you guys will find out in hopefully next week's video I did sell the Miata uh, but I want to talk about that in its own video so it doesn't catch attention to this but this is it I did already uh, redo the brakes I did that pretty much right after I got it the rear ones are still good but I redid the whole front end uh, caliper rotor pads and stainless steel brake lines with new brake fluid I have an own video on that, so that'll be coming out soon. But I got this because 2011 is a little bit better about the oil consumption issue. It was priced really well. And as you guys already know, I love cars that need love. <laughs> so it's got its fair, fair uh, share of little dents, stings, scratches, nicks, and things like that. I already have a plan to collab with Josh, which you guys saw in the G8 video a while back to uh, wrap the roof. That'll be happening here shortly. Um, I have a kit that I'll be able to pull this dent out and this dent, uh, a motorcycle hit the backside of the car. So it's gonna get a new rear bumper as well as I'm going to replace the front bumper, the headlights, the fog lights, maybe the grills i don't know we'll see about that because uh, the grills are in pretty good shape but the bottom one is damaged from my front uh license plate mount that was on the car but yeah so this is the outside personally i love this color and uh i got it on some pretty cheap white wheels so i went and scooped up these tesla model 3 aero wheels for cheap uh, they're curbed up, but they came with brand new Michelins. Uh, this is by far the worst of it, so I'll probably replace this one wheel. Or maybe just eventually buy a whole new set, because I actually love how these look. I do have the aero cap covers, and I've always been kind of curious what they look like on the car, so I might put them on, try them out for a little bit. But let's go ahead and take a look inside. So I just did a fresh detail today. This car is 100% bone stock, which was a ginormous selling factor for me because one of the one of my friends that I used to work with bought an 07 that was pretty heavily modified and he could burn through a quart of oil, a quart of oil in, in like less than a week if he was hitting VTEC a lot. Like you could see the oil burn the uh, second he went into VTEC which that one was tuned to hit it, I believe, around 4,500 RPM, so he was burning a lot of oil. But uh, apart from the driver door having a nick, uh, there is the door check. It was broken, so I ordered a new one, but I believe I have to take off the door panel and feed it out. But I think I have to get a little bit creative in trying to mount it because I think one of the bolt holes uh, was like, you know, ripped out or damaged. I don't know how well you guys can see that because my camera went dark but um, so I gotta address that the stock mirror was kind of torn up but I didn't like it anyway so I just snagged this out of the vibe and put that in here I already found a radio to replace this unit I need to replace the shift knob and shift boot and steering wheel because of this wear on it but I already got plans for all of those as well and then this center console the hinge on it broke and for whatever reason one of the pre previous owners decided that uh it would be a good idea to just drill a hole into the center console and the lid and shove something in there to keep it locked don't really know why they thought that was a good idea that's actually a lot more work than just fixing the latch so 
who knows, but I'm going to order a new center console uh, as well as a short shifter because right now this does not have it. I've also slammed through a lot of maintenance. Like I said, I did the front brakes, brake fluid, uh, and then I also uh, replaced the transmission fluid. I was blanking out for a second. I uh, did a complete drain and refill of that with GM Synchro Mesh. That made a huge difference in how it shifts. Uh, before, I was actually completely locked out of VTEC. Now, it will happen sometimes where I have to let it drop back below 6,000 RPMs before I can shift into the gear. But I think that's because there's still old fluid in the system. So, I think after maybe two or three drains of that will be perfect. But that's super easy to do. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you actually saw me you know, crack it open, drain it out. The old fluid, which I guess was the original Honda fluid, is like syrup. I could not believe how thick it was. Um, so it makes sense why it degrades fast and the transmission gets clogged up and it gets hard to shift and just things like that. But everything else in the car is super mint. The radio works perfectly. Uh, I got my iPod cord all hooked up and that works perfectly. The sound system in here is actually really good. I was surprised by it. And uh, these seats are insanely comfortable. They're actually fairly aggressive bucket seats, which I was not expecting. Uh, having known the guy uh, that I used to work with that had one of these was a huge incentive to buy one. And the 2011, it got a lot of the, uh, I guess, quality issues figured out by then. Um, so, yeah. I uh, think that's pretty much it. I haven't done anything in the engine bay yet. I want to do uh, some upgraded shifter cable bushings, coilovers, upper control arms, lower control arms, and just the whole run of the mill of everything. And I'm just going to slowly be working at it. But I will be dailying this. Gets really good gas mileage. Um, if I stay out of VTEC and just use my cruise control a ton, I can probably get like 26 to 30, which is perfect. And VTEC is a ton of fun. But wanted to get you guys introduced to it so that way I could keep working on it and keep you guys updated on everything I've done with it as well as hopefully get more photos of it and everything and post more of it on Instagram. So if you guys have any recommendations of something you might want to see, any tips, tricks, little hidden features or anything, please let me know because I love finding those out. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.